Today's video is brought to you by FlexiSpot. It's that time of year again. Time to break out my eight favorite photography, video, and audio gifts for that special someone, or perhaps even yourself. Hi everyone and welcome to Pal the Tech. Today we are talking about eight photography, video, and audio gifts, all of them under $100. First on the list is a gift for anyone who wants things organized. These are special labels that will Velcro around cords, which you can then label and organize. These are great for knowing at a glance which cord goes to which device. They come in different sizes, but for most people, the regular size is perfect. This one is just for the photographers, particularly the product photographers or anyone wanting a camera locked down on a table or close to the ground. This is the small rig tabletop tripod. It comes with a clamp compatible with Arca Swiss quick release plate. It has rubber grip legs, which allow it to firmly stay in position. What's nice is it has these little catch guards to prevent your camera from sliding off in case it comes loose. And it's even perfect for vlogging. It has two adjustment knobs, one of them allows for a complete rotation and the other gives a nice pan rotation just like this. The legs are tightened right here and you'll need to use an Allen wrench. And this leads me to my next item also from Small Rig. This is the Small Rig folding tool set and it is the single most used piece of gear in my entire studio next to the cameras and the lenses. What's nice is that this has all of the common sizes that you would need. Now I've seen other YouTube channels talk about this and yet no one mentions one of the coolest features about it. You see these holes right here? Have a look at this. That's so you can keep M2.5, M3, and M4 screws handy. Just screw in the ones you need right here and it just keeps extra screws handy in case you lose them. Okay, moving away from tools now and on to light. If you're wanting to get a special gift for that awesome photographer, this is the way to go. My favorite all time portable light. This is the Aperture MC RGB WW LED light. It comes with its own diffuser and it's actually quite a small unit. See that? It is drop dead easy to use, which is why I love it. You have three controls right here. One is the USB charge and you can also continuously power it with USB. One is the on and off switch and one is a dial like this and controls the light or you can press in on it to select and then change the hue, rotate the dial. That's right. Red. <laughs> it also has a few special gimmicks built in like cop car light and fireworks and things like that. I never use those, but what's really handy, oh, that's getting annoying, hold on. Now it takes 75 minutes to fully charge this thing and it can run at about 100% brightness for about an hour and a half before you need to recharge it again. And what's really cool is that it has these two magnets built right into it so you can stick this light wherever. The next item on my list, also for the photographers, is one that I've talked about on this channel before, and that is the JJC Wireless Remote Control Shutter for Fujifilm. It's so easy to use. You simply turn on the receiving unit and attach it to the top of the camera, or anywhere near the camera, then connect the remote release cable to the camera, and then just press the button to take the shot. This will work up to 100 feet away. And these three modes are so handy. The first one, S, you just press the button, single shot. The second one is a timer of five seconds. So you press it and you get five seconds. Really cool feature. And lastly, there's a burst mode. I think it takes three shots or five shots or something. I don't know, I never use it, but it's there if you need it. Now, the only thing about this thing to keep in mind is that it takes these weird little batteries, <laughs> right? <laughs> these are CR2s, right? So make sure you get an extra one of these or two when you get the unit. Hey, before we continue, I would like to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, FlexiSpot. I recently did a review of the FlexiSpot Canna Pro Bamboo Standing Desk EC8, and I use it all the time as my video and photo editing workstation. The desk is very easy to set up. It's made of bamboo, which is easy to clean, solid, and can hold plenty of weight and so can the motor when it's lifting the desk up into the air. You can switch from standing to sitting with the touch of a button on the electronic keypad. The motor quickly and quietly adjusts the desk into your desired position. It also has height presets so it will remember your preferences for easy access later on. 
A nice touch is the included USB port on the side of the button controls. In case you don't have enough ports and stuff plugged in on your workstation as it is. Using a standing desk can improve your productivity, health, and posture. I will have a link to where you can see some of the options and the sizes. And right now, FlexiSpot is running some Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. This may be the perfect time to check it out. Thanks again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Moving on, we are coming to the perfect gift for the musician or audio lover of your life. This is the Shure X2U XLR to USB signal adapter. This device is wonderful and such a lifesaver for this studio. Here's the thing, a number of microphones, especially the XLR ones, such as this Deity S Mic 2 or this Shure SM7B are amazing microphones. The problem with them is that they require power and a preamp. You can't just, you know, play plug an XLR cable from the microphone, right, in, oh look, check this out, from the, from the beginning segment of the video, have a look at this. See, I organize everything. I'm not kidding about this stuff. I use it all the time. Anyway, once you plug the XLR cable into the microphone, right, you can't just plug the mic into a laptop computer and start recording your audio. You can't do that. There's no power. Your computer won't even really register it. It won't work, right? So what you do, is you go from the microphone using an XLR cable into this. The unit comes with a USB cable that plugs right into here, comes out of here, and goes right into your computer. Now, once it's plugged into your computer, right, and your computer is on, this will automatically turn on. You see that? And there's a little button right here. Press it in. Now you're supplying 48 volts of power. This is a little preamp, right? So you can control the volume. You can turn it up and get more gain on your mic, which then feeds into your computer and you could record using Audacity or Adobe Audition or anything you want. And it works on a Mac or a PC and it allows any microphone that's an XLR mic to be attached to your computer and you can then record. You could even do a Zoom call with your XLR mic because it'll sense it as a normal mic. Microphone. Okay, moving back to photography. Now, I know there are many channels that focus on tripods, tripods, tripods. And while tripods are great, I must say that if you've never used a monopod before, you don't know what you're missing. This is the Siri P326 carbon fiber monopod. And this is as perfect a monopod as you can get for the price, the balance, and the build quality. It even comes with a compass in case you get lost. <laughs> there is no greater feeling than taking a lens, putting it on your camera, right? Especially a big lens, and then taking your camera and attaching it to a monopod. Now we're talking some serious monopod action here. <laughs> and you just screw these and out it comes. Look at this, it's so high, I can't even include it in the frame of the shot. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to walk over there and, you know, widen the angle. But here you go, see it? Even if you're not a photographer, this thing is wonderful because it gives you the look of authority. <laughs> As an example, the other day I actually brought this exact setup to my son's band practice at school. So here I am in there, all these parents with their iPads and their phones, you know, doing this kind of thing, right? I come in there, I sit down, boom, I've got this thing like here. Nobody stood in front of me. They all stood back thinking I'm, you know, from National Geographic or something. <laughs> it's great. I love this monopod so much. I wish I had three of them. Get it? M three, then it's a tripod. And finally, a device that I use with the camera almost as much as an SD card, and that is the Andesini mount. It's great because you can adjust it with the small rig tool or any other Allen wrench. This goes right on the camera's hot shoe mount, just like this. It allows for easy tilt forward and back angle of an external monitor. As I've said before, I will say it again, one thing to keep in mind, you always want to be very careful when attaching something to your camera's hot shoe mount. It's very easy to break this off. Better would be to get a cage for your camera and then attach this to the cage. But as long as you're careful and you don't do it a whole lot, like with really heavy monitors, you should be okay. Now, before I go, there is one more very important thing that we need to do. I would like to say a very special welcome to Gene Desmond. Gene, thank you so much for your support of this channel. That means the world to me. It helps keep the channel running and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. So without any further ado, let's add your name to the Gear Iguana Studio Hall of Fame. Thanks, Gene, you're awesome!
thank you so much for all your support. I can't tell you what an inspiration this is for me when I'm sitting in the studio during the late nights and I'm wondering, is this channel worth it? Should I keep it up? Your support makes all the difference in the world. Be sure to check out the backstage area. A very big thank you to all my backstage supporters and YouTube channel members. Well, that wraps up this year's photography, video, and audio buying guide. I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I am going to be signing off now, but have a wonderful weekend, and I will see all of you in a new video next week. Take care. So you can stick this light wherever. So you can stick this light where... So you can stick this light where... <laughs> I can't do this! So you can stick this light wherever.